Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your device on 4.2.1. Now this works for all devices, however, if you have an iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, new boot ROM, iPod Touch 4th gen, or the iPod Touch 3rd gen, or the 2nd generation new boot ROM, or the iPad, you will have a tethered jailbreak. So uh, this is taken exactly from Redmond Pi. I'm just going to read it straight off of it. It says, now, from here onwards, whenever you want to do anything related to jailbreaking, like SSHing into your device or running Cydia, you must first run your device in the so-called jailbroken state on every reboot by just uh, using the jailbreak boot tethered right now option in Red Snow. So you'd have to plug your device into your computer and you'd have to rerun Red Snow. So I'm going to show you what you guys need first off. Uh, you're going to open up a web browser and you're going to come here and you're going to download your firmware. Even if you're already restored to it in iTunes, you're going to have to download it. So for me, I have the iPad, so I just find that uh, and then I download that. And then, uh, like I said, if you're not restored to it, then you need to restore it to it. Just go to iTunes 10.1, the latest version. Uh, you have to have that installed as well. And uh, just simply hit update or hit restore, and it'll just go to 4.2.1, and you'll be good to go as far as that goes. And you have to have it downloaded, and you have to actually know where it is. So, for instance, mine is downloaded on my desktop. And then, as well, you have to download Red Snow. Now, there are several mirrors on their main website. Uh, it's right here. I'll have a link in the more info. And then you just click on it, and you download it. So, because if you're on Windows, you have to have WinRAR in order to open it, because all of them are in a zip format. So, this is what you get when you open it in WinRAR. You just double-click on the folder. You take the redsnow.exe, and you would just drag it out. And then you have to have your device plugged in, like mine is, right here. And what you want to do ahead of time is just power it off. But uh, first of all, I'm just going to show you that I am indeed on 4.2.1. So as you can see, I have folders right there. I have Game Center. So I'm just going to launch that up uh, just to prove to you guys. Uh, Game Center, as you can see there, it says ICU ID, which is me. So I'm also going to go into Settings and I'm going to show you guys. Now because I'm already at general about, I'll just go back. So settings, general, and then I'm going to go to about, except I'm going to hide it here because uh, it will show my serial number. But I'll just show you right there where it says version. And then I'm just going to go over 4.2.1. So that's what you need to be on, guys. And that's what I'm on. And as I said, connected and then just power it off. So I'm going to turn it off right now. So now it's off and connected. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open up Red Snow. So we took it to our desktop, going to open it, browse for our firmware, and like I said, just put your firmware on the desktop. Mine's right there and you got to find it. So got that out of the way. Now it's processing the firmware. And now it says IPSW successfully identified. So I'm going to go next, and it's going to prepare the jailbreak data. Okay, so now you get to pick what you want to do here. I'm only going to do install Cydia. And then this is the option that you want to do when uh, you have to reboot and you want to use your jailbreak stuff. You just go just boot tethered right now, but uh, I'm not even jailbroken yet, so I'm going to go into install Cydia. And that's all we need to do. So we're just going to go next. This is going to be kind of quick here. I'm going to switch to my camera view, and I'm going to click next, and it's walking me through the steps. So it's saying hold down the power button for three seconds, then start holding down the home and power button for 10 seconds all together. So it's still counting, as you can see on the screen there. And then let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. You'll know you're in because it'll just flash ahead to the next screen, but you want to continue holding the home button even past that. You want to wait till it's past the first reboot stage until it's past the uploading RAM disk. Once it's past that, then you can let go. Otherwise, it might not work properly. And now this is the scrolling text. It is the exploit that GeoHot used and Red Snow now incorporates that. So I'm just going to leave this here for you guys, 
and on my computer as you can see it says that it's done and the rest of the process will take place on your device now I've always been a little wary of that so I just I uh, click finish once this pops up so you can click finish now and it's saying everything else will take place on your device and now it's installing the bundles so it's just booting up now and I'll just skip ahead until it's actually completed its boot phase okay guys so now it's booted up and I'm just gonna scroll over and there we go it says Cydia right there see look Cydia so I'm gonna hit Cydia so because Cydia actually isn't loading up right now what you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to power it off and then you're gonna have to open up Red Snow again and you had to browse for your firmware there and then you're gonna go just boot tethered right now and then you're gonna go next and then you're just gonna follow the same thing holding down the home button for three seconds home and power button for 10 seconds and then once that's up you're going to release the power button and continue holding the home button right about now and like I said you want to continue holding that even after it's gone away So there we go. We've got the Pwn logo popped up there, and we should be good to go here in a second. Okay, so now it's up, and we're going to launch City again. And there we go, guys. It worked. Uh, that's what you have to do after you jailbreak it, and then it'll work from there on out. Okay, so it just did a respring there, and now you can go back into Cydia. And now, guys, this is the new version of City as well. So this is super exciting. Now it asks you who you are, and I am a user, so that's what I'm going to click. And then done up there in the corner. So I'm just going to ignore that temporarily. We have some new stuff down below, which is pretty darn cool. We have City, we have sections, we have changes. Now we have installed and sources. We don't have a manage tab anymore. We uh, got rid of that, or they got rid of that. And uh, you have some new options in here. You can change that. You can change who you are just by going into sources and then settings. And then you can uh, mess with those settings there. And then I'm sure there are other settings. I'll let you guys know though. Uh, for now, it looks like the Welcome to iPad is conflicting with the Welcome to Cydia there. So it's jailbroken. And uh, I hope you guys like this video. Now, if you just came to this video uh, and you didn't come to it from the guide, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click around this watermark right here and you can go back to the Beginner's Guide to Jailbreaking. And then from there, you can pick tons of videos. For instance, you can pick how to FaceTime over 3G, you can pick how to uh, how to share your internet connection from your iPhone to anything including an iPad. There are all sorts of types of videos that you can pick guys. You can also pick how to get free paid applications. So just click on that and hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe. This is ICU signing out.